to Incredible Science. Today I'm going to be making a giant, giant indoor tornado with a giant fan. But first, let me show you what it looks like on a mini scale. I have some carbon dioxide right here and a cup of hot water. We create some gas, we create some smoke, and then we take a little fan like this. Now normally, it would blow the smoke away, it would blow the carbon dioxide away, but we're gonna do it in reverse. And watch how it sucks up the carbon dioxide, and since the fan is spinning, it's gonna create a little vortex, watch. Those wisps, those wisps are the coolest. Look at that, look at that one. That is sick. Nice. How cool is that? Look at that. Just dragging up little... That's a sick one. Look at that. Oh man, that was amazing. That is the longest one. This was just so much fun to do. That was a giant one. All right guys, that was sick. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and turn on bell notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now we're gonna head upstairs and do this 50 times bigger. With a giant industrial fan, you need two people to hold it, so my wife and I are gonna hold it over a ton of dry ice. I'm talking about like two pounds, two big boxes worth of dry ice in a big bucket. It's gonna be epic. Let's head upstairs and get it set up. After I put these around, I still will have to get up high and hold one box fan above the dry ice. This would make a good science experiment. I just finished a day of filming with CJ with all our fans and toilet paper. This place was covered in toilet paper. It was a day of toilet paper. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. Which brought me to this idea. Is it possible to make an actual tornado inside? See, when I was looking on YouTube for ideas on how to do our toilet paper tornado, I wanted to see how other people did it just to get good tips and ideas on cool ways to do it and the right way to do it. I saw this video that someone in a college did indoors. After seeing that, I was blown away and I read through the comment section and no one really explained an easy way to do it. You need some type of fan on top sucking the air, so that's exactly what I got. I have five box fans, I have dry ice, I have a pot, I have hot water, and we're going to attempt that experiment to see if we can get an indoor tornado, not a toilet paper tornado like we did in the last video, but an actual smoking carbon dioxide look-alike tornado well spinning air right that's what a tornado is so we're gonna try to recreate that right here in this living room let's do it make sure to take a second right now to hit subscribe and while you're at it click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video okay I would say there's definitely some circular action Definitely circular action happening there. Right? I would say so. I would hope so. Let's do it. Hot water going in. Three, two, one. I wonder if I shut off these fans. Look at that. Look at that, there's a tornado there. You saw that? It was starting to, but then it faded.
We're definitely getting like a mini tornado here. I just checked the footage on computer and we definitely had a vortex. Now I'm thinking if we had a stronger fan, then that vortex would have been pulled higher, the fan would have been able to be higher, suction would have been stronger. Now if only we had some type of an industrial fan. Here we have an industrial fan, the same one we used for the toilet paper tornado. This has a giant strong suction to it. Higher, higher. Three, two, one. Oh, no, it's the wrong way. It was the wrong way. Okay, flip it around. Get it over the middle of it, maybe. Now lift it up slowly. Smile.